The mind is a mysterious place. Everyone's works a little differently. Who are you? Tell me your name. Let your eyes get used to the darkness. It takes time. Longer for some, more than others. Perhaps the only thing you can see are your hands. Our reality is made when sensation and expectation come together in your brain. There is no creature on your hand. Your mind joins up the dots between what you see and what you feel. That's how horror works. But that is a cheap trick. And this is not about cheap tricks. Reality is a very serious business, which is why you lot spend so much time trying to escape it. Now, feel the weight of your hands. Squeeze them gently. You can see them here. You can feel them there. But where are they really? Hmm? On your hand is a game. Try and keep the marble at the center. Ah, good. But how are you able to do this? Keep the balance of the ball against invisible forces. When there isn't even gravity in this place. Sometimes your power gets taken away. This is an experience about knowing the difference between what is and isn't real. Reality is just a story after all. One we tell ourselves to make sense of the world. Some stories aren't true. This one is. This is the story of Goliath. From inside his mind. good because you know I don't normally tell people about some of this shit and my fucking head's just fuck hallucinations having unusual thoughts having your thoughts kind of disrupted breaking them down uh, and it's only when it comes more in French I wouldn't be surprised and really starts to affect someone mm -hmm. so we begin to think about the medical but actually it's wrong. not it's not actually you. at all uncommon for individuals to have your pressures yes take an example um, someone now, who has it, it's quite I, often I, I'd also uh, it is uh, but it can be linked to trauma so someone who's experienced trauma subsequently goes on to feel that people are following I'll them um, this is psychiatrist Dr. Henry de Ross what is the nature of this illness? But it's not really plausible. It's not possible these people can be... You know. In the layman's term, a major breakdown which psychiatrists would refer to it as... ...trauma, and it's a manifestation of a mind that's think he's gone sick? a huge stressor, he's and he's trying to sort of... That's a slightly more extreme example. Schizophrenia is not a proven illness. They name you that because they can't explain anything else about you. They call you schizophrenic. 
it's something that I understand and everyone won't. People call me Goliath. I'm a gamer. Every game is doing something that's impossible to do in real life. No one wants to lose. Everyday life you don't want to lose, do you? Sometimes you don't have control, but you do it in a game. I was a problem child when I was a kid. My mum was in a wheelchair a lot. Carers used to come around 24-7 and they didn't like me that much. I looked after mum all the time. When I was a kid I played a lot of games. It was it was a way of getting away from things, having that escape. I got kicked out of home. chickens. I used to mix techno records. It was a psychotic episode.
the connections are fragile. When it all comes crashing down, what is left to hold on to? Your power gets taken away. I ended up in psychiatric hospital, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I had a barbed window, fixed desk. It had a bed. And a toilet in the corner, metal toilet. Everything's fixed in it, so you can't harm yourself. You know, if you ever get anxious, you get a bit jumpy in the heart and that. Yeah, times that by a thousand. That's your hell. That's mine. is revolving around me in a bad way. Sometimes it's the little things that make all the difference. Actions and reactions. That's how you know you're really here. I have to be assessed and uh, get the right medication in me. Clozapine. It's an antipsychotic strongest oral and psychotic in the planet. They used to churn that, that stuff out to people. Do you get hungry? You get fat. <laughs> it just makes me grunt like, ugh. I see you getting more comfortable in this place. You're getting the hang of it. It does get easier. Predictable, even. But are you still in two places at once? From the outside, you seem like someone who's doing something very peculiar. Fighting thin air.
calms me down. They took me to the computer room with this nurse. And he stayed with me for about two, three hours and we just played football against each other on, on the computer game, which was quite cool. Treat me like a human being. I don't know if you understand that. I think it took me like what? It took me like six, seven years to get out of that place. By the time I left hospital, mum had passed away. And then my dad died too. Lots of people slip between worlds. It can happen to anyone. It was like, yeah, I'm out. Great. People do treat you differently. If they know you're ill or whatever, they treat you differently because they don't understand. And what they don't understand frightens, frightens them. People are doing their own thing nowadays, aren't they? You get used to it. Got internet connected. The power of the internet. Everyone and anyone got sucked into some online gaming, which I loved. It was great. It was the uh, you know the entrance into a bigger world, basically. You meet people in the game, and if you're good at the game, they want to join in. Oi! I see you. You're in the game too. You big sack of pudding. If you're having fun with the person you're playing with, then you, you make friends. If you get things called trolls, tell them to F off. Everything you see is just part of the game. Everything you feel is real. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go. Thank you. 
Oh, sorry, guys. I've got to go. There's someone at the door. You open up a bit more when you're online. Because, you know, you're behind the screen. I don't really tell people what's wrong with me and stuff. Face to face. There's people coming in and out all the time. People just want to play with me at the moment. Teamed up and then became friends. There are a bunch of there are a bunch of funny ones. Yeah, chucking jokes out there and all sorts. It's all it's all fun. I mean, Rocky is amazing. He plays with his mouth paralyzed from his neck down. Omen is a nutter. I'm disabled. Omen's disabled. Just helping each other out. Work as a team. If I didn't have online gaming, I don't know where I'd be. The thoughts are always there, my paranoia is always there. You know, stuff like streaming and computer games takes my mind away from all that shit and I forget, you know, I forget about it all and just have fun. Happier, I think. Yeah, I just like want to live. Live some life. There are just many layers to the world. It's all good. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's mine. just many layers to the world. When you leave this place, the next world will also appear to be real. This is an illusion created in your brain. Your mind joins up the dots between what you see and what you feel. Let your eyes get used to the light. It'll take time. Longer for some, more than others. Perhaps the first thing you'll see are your hands. If you can feel them, you will know that you can do something there. And that might mean reaching out to somebody else. All realities are imagined, but the ones we share endure. Endure.